Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to do an exercise called repeat a string, repeat a string. Repeat, repeat a given string, the first argument, for the number of times, the second argument, and return an empty string if number is not a positive number. Okay, cool. So um, if the number is zero or negative, whatever, we want to return uh, an empty string. So what we could do is just take care of that initially, right? If um, number is less than or equal to zero, we could just return an empty array. And already we can say, if we were to run this test, we'll see that we would have passed anything where we're not passing in the right uh, number of things. Now, so here, in the other examples, here we want to be able to say, do the, um, the star symbol three times. And so we want to pump it out there. Um, so let's say we want to say, um, let's call, let's let the result equal to an empty string. And then we're going to say, um, uh, f let's say, let's let i equal zero, and i be less than the number, and i plus equals one. So we're going to iterate up from zero. Zero is less than three, then we, what do we do? We'd say the result is plus equal to the string. And then let's console log this so we can see if we're getting it right. ABC. Okay, so we're only doing it once right now. So what's happening? Oh, here we're returning the string and not the result. So we want to return the result. Cool. ABC, ABC, ABC. Yeah, so it repeats ABC three times. So because the number is passed in as three and our string is passed in as ABC, we say let i equal to zero, i is, e is less than number, so as long as zero, uh, i is less than three, and then we increment up. So initially we come through, zero is less than three, and so we set the result equal to, we add abc to the result, so the result is abc. i becomes one, we come in, pass in abc again, we add abc again to the string, and then i is equal to two. Two is less than the number, Two is less than three, yes, so we pass in ABC again. Now I is equal to three, which is not less than three. And therefore we skip this part, and then finally we just return the result. And that's how we get that. So if we run the test, we'll see they pass, I hope. Awesome, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, another way you could do it is with a while loop. You could say um, while, um, yeah, you'd have to do, yeah, while we'd have to set an index. Let index is equal to zero, and then say while index is less than the number, then we want to say result plus equals the string, and then we want to increment the index. And this would get us the same thing. This is just doing the same for loop, but using a while loop instead. I would use the for instead of that. But this would also pass the test. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one. And um, this one just works the exact same way. We just keep adding to the result of the string. Another way to think about this is that the result is equal to the result plus the string. So ABC is equal to ABC plus ABC. The result becomes equal to ABC and then ABC, ABC. And that's how you do it. If we run the test, we'll see they pass. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.